Yo, what's good, y'all? Listen, I've been wanting to do some more content for you guys rather than just going to the gym and just posting up me killing somebody or dropping somebody or starting an argument. I want to post some different content for y'all. More day in the life step type stuff. I don't know why my tongue was twisted just now. Today I got a game. I've been playing in a tournament that um, I haven't been recording for you guys. I haven't been recording because uh, it's not the top tier competition in the city. I kind of do it to kind of get in shape and stay in shape or whatnot. But I can take you guys through a day in the life of what it's like. My post game and pre game lifts. Or what I do to get ready for a game, how I'm consuming stuff. Right now, my room looks crazy. I'm gonna show y'all. Right now, this is. I hate getting my day started and not cleaning up. You know what I mean? I hate when my bed is not made or whatnot. So, right now, all of these clothes right here, blankets, I'm gonna fold up and get that situated. I'm doing some work on my computer right now, I'm trying to shift over you know, some of my content. And this is my laundry that I have to drop into the laundry. I use Tide Pods. The reason I use Tide Pods, they're much easier to grab. Grab two, get on out of there. Let's not forget about these bad boys. I'm about to put y'all on to some new flavors. These joints right here, these are unstoppable. These joints is crazy, but if you get really close, let's see the bottom of that. There's so many different flavors, so many different smells inside of that. I like my clothes to smell peachy clean and whatnot. Normally I have my clothes folded up over here. As you guys see, do style boxes and all that. My jersey is dirty right now and I need to drop some clothes in the laundry. I know the guys hit me up today and told me that we're gonna have me pretty much short staff. I'm playing against the second best team in the league and my last game I had 40, 44, 46. So today I feel like I wanna go for 60. You guys probably won't see all the highlights or anything like that. Hopefully you guys see a couple, but I'm gonna show you guys some of my pre-game lift, my post-game lift. I'm gonna toss these clothes in the laundry first. One thing about New York that I can't say I do love is like just having the laundry mats so close. I don't know about y'all, whoever watching this and where y'all from, but do y'all be having to go far for your laundry mats or your laundry mats is like inside your crib? Mine right here. I think that's the biggest joint for me. And I wouldn't be able to get a $3. Oh, God. Dang. All the washes I need is, is, uh, is taken. It's the only dilemma about using like New York City laundromats is uh, everybody got to use them. Hola, mommy. Hola. Everybody got to use them. So right now I got to wait. Still got to wait 14 minutes. 13 now. I might just go get some uh, get something to eat. But yeah, this is the laundromat. You got the dryers over here, washers here. I try to kill some, kill some time. Let me see if I go across the street get something to eat. And are you really from New York if you don't jaywalk? I don't know what I want to eat before my game. I be trying to be real selective about what I put in my body. Pause. Spanish fly on the block is really good. Tropicals. Try to go in here, get me something, uh, something pretty solid to eat. Something light like fish and vegetables and maybe some. You don't want that? Okay. I don't know if I want to do vegetables or not. Yes, nice. How you doing, mommy? Can I get question? If I wanted to, mm, can I get a? Let me just do yellow rice and salmon. I wanted to know if um if it'd be cheaper if I get like a pan of rice, two salmons on the side, it'd be cheaper. Twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. Can I do that then? Thank you. How much are the vegetables by themselves? Huh? How much are the vegetables? Four? Mm, okay. Thank you. I'm going too much rice sometimes. I feel like rice makes me bloated. That's one of my biggest problems is being like a big guard. Is like being conscious of what I'm eating. But also like, you know, I'm eating healthy. So get something for the crib in case somebody else is hungry. Mm. Just in time. Got back from me and machine. Got me and machine.
In case you guys are wondering, like, what's this? This is my 64 ounce jug of water. This bad boy is the thing that's gonna help me keep my joints lubricated, you know, not cramp up, be able to perform. Like I said, it's pretty it's pretty tough, you know, to do, I wanna say do what I do. It, it, it's tough, but it's a blessing. Let me explain why I, I feel like such. It's tough because, ah, oh man, like, I'm the creator. I'm the creator of the content that you guys are watching. Everything that you guys are seeing, I come up with the ideas for, and I try to execute it so you guys can see it. But it's it's tough because sometimes I feel like I have to choose. How can I how can I explain this better? All right, so I've been playing basketball my whole life, damn near. You know what I mean? I've been playing. I played at all types of levels, but you got to put in the pain and the time to get to a certain level within your career. You know what I mean? You have to you have to put in that time. So right now, like I'm going to the gym. I'm lifting. I'm jumping rope, assault bikes, ladders. I'm doing all of that stuff. That's taking me about anywhere between four to six hours to do that because I'm upstairs in the weight room doing yoga and weight room stuff for like two and a half hours. I'm downstairs on the court for like two and a half hours, three hours. That's like six hours. Then I have to I have to figure out when I can edit the content for you. You know what I mean? But I'm I'm so happy with the consistency of what I'm building and where I'm at within my game that I'm so eager to get back to the gym the next day, the next day, the next day. And I'll be so exhausted to get in to like have to edit and have to drop. You know, and I find myself uh, you know, battling between those two things. Like, obviously, I love what I do. Like, the pain that I put in behind behind the scenes, really with the brand, this is what they don't see. It's like, you know, it, it, it really gets me someplace. It really matters to me. You know, I feel like I got a little fire uh, lit under my ass right now to, like, really keep going, really keep pushing. So I wanted to, like, kind of kind of do more besides, like, what you guys are typically seeing. I really feel like the basketball content is kind of getting, like, saturated. Um, doesn't mean I'm going to stop doing it because, like I said, I love what I do. Um, but I want to I want to definitely give you guys, like, more content. So that's what we're going to kind of keep pushing for or whatnot. I love having fresh smelling clothes going into a game. You know what I mean? You, you look good, feel good, you play good. Low-key, I think my clothes might have been ready already. I know y'all probably asking, like, you, got, you got braids. Yeah, I got braids, man. You guys probably seen content, are going to be seeing content of me just having braids. Definitely want to switch up just a little bit. That's a wrap for my laundry. Hasta luego, mommy. Currently in Times Square, 42nd. And I tell you, it's probably been the most crowded it's been in a long time. I'm used to the commute and all of these like humans, but today was a little bit excessive. Let me just show y'all what I'm talking about. Don't get me wrong, like, it's not that bad. I know outside of the city, they be like, yo, you know, it's a lot going on in New York, it's too much. It's not that bad. On track four, please. You have dad talk to you all the time. I think that's Siri cousin. I'll definitely, like I said, show you guys my pregame lift. 
in my post game lift and what I do to try to like get in better shape and, and improve my mobility and all you know all the, all the necessary things that the uh, basketball players they don't talk about. I'm a big fan of LeBron and how he his durability is. So I'm adopting everything that this man has possibly and potentially would have done. Simple train ride. It's already nighttime. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, bro. Oh, what's up, Game just finished. We killed it 4 0. Nigel, how much you had? 100? No. I wish. <laughs> nah, 27 and 5. Nigel, 27 and 5. I had 37, 11, and 9. He, he ain't play. He just came to support. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> we undefeated too. Yeah, we undefeated right now. That was a good vibe. They're undefeated, both of you. Oh, I know I told you I was going to do a, a, a after the game lift, but we started talking and my body got cool, so I didn't do it. I know. Don't be disappointed in me. I'm going to I'm uh, still get y'all that, uh, that post-game lift. I was supposed to bench press today, too. I forgot. You was? I was. Because uh, I, I bench pressed last week and I did 18. No, bro. You know Zeus, right? Zeus? No. Um, it's a nigga that he did a bench press with cash now. Yeah. So fucking strong. You want to the ball? Uh, yeah. What's up? 
I don't know. Hit me. When I, yeah, I tell you to hit me and you don't hit me. Both of y'all twins. So I get off at one and I go Liar, straight to the gym. Liar, bro. I go straight to the gym. You get up at 1 p.m. Y'all hear this? He say you get up at 1 p.m. And he go straight I'll be to the gym. At about 1.30. Um, if you be at 135 on my mom's, bro, it's on site, bro. <laughs> <laughs> on my mom's, bro. Yeah, my job. They be BSing. What are we doing here? I'll be there. You should have laughed, huh? Maybe you did not come to the gym right here. This ain't about me. <laughs> this ain't about me. This ain't about me. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, back in the crib. I think today was a good day. I didn't get a chance to get it on camera, but, uh, I was working out with Smush Parker towards the end. Not necessarily working out, but he was just telling me a part of my game, what I should add to it that'll help, I guess, excel and be better at what I'm doing. You know, we went through a couple of little situations that he showed me. And it's just dope to to be able to still be, like I said, grasp ideas from former NBA players. You know what I mean? He was a killer. I was a triple double at Fordham University, you know, played with Kobe. Um, no matter whatever that relationship was, just to have advice from a former NBA player is just dope. So, um, I know you guys are probably disappointed I didn't show you guys my post game lift, but um, I definitely want to hurry up and get inside the crib, exhausted and whatnot. <clears throat> but if you guys are new here, like, comment, subscribe. Hope you guys like the new content. Hope you guys rocking with the hair or whatnot. And uh, yeah, it's your boy Matt Thomas, it's your boy Royalty. Over and out.